What do you see, Sunan? you live under Edwin's boot? For that is where you will be if these supplies reach your castle. I'd give them over to any man. That's okay. I have a livelihood to keep. I had silver before I was caged, and I will. You need only time. I'm it's a crying shame your story. A few supplies ain't gonna rewrite the history of the world. Oh, don't We don't have time for philosophical discussion. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. This area is off limits. I keep the lies. Should we hide them? Fresh kills will arouse suspicion. What was that? My howl. <laughs> Edwin's men approach. <laughs> Prepare yourself. The soldiers are close. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. 
men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the god, or could he be a god himself? I... I don't know. I want to deny it, but I've... I've, I've seen things in my life. Visions. Prophecies. It's difficult to explain. Heed your visions. Always. You may have been touched by true knowledge. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he is no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Folke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man. Gidrich. Eivor, have you dealt each with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of edwin has got too many traps and defences. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defences. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Long live Giedrich! None will stop us! Eivor! Giedrich! And victory! Hey! Aid me. Be my eyes. Show me.
Springlets are large bolt casters. I must disable them. riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say fight now. You're a good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I mean... Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on, then. Your master of AIDS. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance. Read well. Maintain the feared. I'll return when the time is right. As you say, Eivor.
Eivor, are you ready to begin the assault now? We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back. this time.
go to your god wherever he hides. the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favours. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds. Dress her in rags, and send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. See you, old friend. Kings of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before, but Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times, a thousand. Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fogged, shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching 
Skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor. I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder. Do not listen. No. This is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred, come! King Alfred of Wessex! Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak. And the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can answer. Please, man. No secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfric! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl, I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith that the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. Basim, what was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. Stronger already. One more, and only because you all have such.
I can get you that one easy. Done for now. I will put that gear to good use out there. Long time ago. Greetings, Eivor. I have to go in peace. Now, this, this one begins. Long time ago, a desert awaits. Nice to see you. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenifertshire. But the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Basim and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chelbert has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chilbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Feel great. A 
another told you so. Come, you head, to pay your respects to the great and brave King Lyrion. <coughs> I do not know such a man. He was afraid and murdered by those who denied his friendship, just as you deny him now. <coughs> Hold there! I'm not your enemy! Darkness must reign, and you must fade within it! You will not be taken by a demon goddess! You will join my pile of bones! How can there be so many of you? Your tricks will not topple me! Satan! Yeah. Yeah. 